Hi all. So in these tutorials I'm going to be going over rendering in Photoshop um, and in class we spoke about importing a drawing, importing your line weights into Photoshop from Illustrator and then organizing your drawing into different layers. Um, so I'm just going to create a new layer here and that'll be my white background layer and this will allow me to see the image which right now has transparency so I'm gonna just move that to the very back of the image so organizing my layers there I'm gonna select the entire window while white background is current and go to edit fill and I'm gonna select white background from the drop down menu there's different options for the colors but I'm just gonna select white and hit OK and then we should see our drawing a little bit more clearly and then I'm just gonna click to de deselect the window frame um, if I zoom in here you could see their line weights are looking correctly I've already assigned these different line weights in Illustrator and so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer here and I'm gonna have my layers organized by having each of them start with the word color so in this case I'm gonna color in the paving so I have a color paving layer and I'm gonna turn off all the other layers um, and try to find a boundary that has a layer that has a boundary that I can fill in so I can see this is the entire outline of the paving that I want to fill in so again we can use our um, color tool to select the color of, that we want to apply to that area I'm gonna just keep this drawing fairly monochromatic so I'm gonna assign it a gray color hit OK and now to select this area we have a couple of options there's the select tool and the magic wand tool uh, you could see if I select the magic wand and click it's not going to find that boundary um, so there's a couple of different options we could try a different layer but it's still not finding that on that layer so another tool to use for this which kinda combines um, filling and selection is the paint bucket tool so it's located under the gradient tool icon but if you select paint bucket tool now we can go to our selection click and you can see I fill this in on the drawing layer which I don't want to do so I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna activate my color paving layer and then click and now I can tur turn that color on and off and I can see that it's on my color paving layer so I also have the DWG uh, layer on top of my color layer which is something you want to always make sure that you do so I'm going to create a new layer here I'm going to double click and I'll call this color pool so this will be this little pool in the Barcelona pavilion um, and I still have the boundary for the pool I'm gonna keep it monochromatic also and just choose a slightly lighter color to represent the water and I'll use the paint bucket tool again make sure my color pool layer is active and I'll just click to fill that in this is a little bit too similar in color um, so I'm gonna just lighten this up a little bit and I'll select a lighter gray, hit OK and I'll fill that in and it gives me a little more contrast and so right now again in terms it's really important to keep your layers organized if I zoom in you can see some of the drawing is being covered by the color fill so if I move the color in back of the DWG then the line gets a little bit darker and you can see the line work appear again so it's always really important to manage your layers and make sure that your DWG layers, all your line work is in the foreground of the of the file um, in terms of layer organization. So that's some 
basic way to start to fill in your drawing and we'll continue with the next video uh, adding some more effects.